Hey, hey, Facebook Live. How are you? This is Patricia Cimino coming to you live with my Wantrepreneur Wednesday on a Friday. So thank you for being patient. We had advertised it earlier this week for Wednesday and something came up with uh, my on my behalf and we had to push it to today. So thank you so much. So for those of you that I don't know, my name is Patricia Cimino and I'm an empowerment coach and I help entrepreneurial women take action in their business. I help them bust through the fear or feel the fear and do it anyways. Um, and I created this Entrepreneur Wednesday series as an inspiration for you to see what is possible by sharing other women's stories of their journey through entrepreneurship. And so if anything today resonates from this conversation and you find you're an entrepreneur or woman and you're stuck in your business, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I do mini sessions, they are complimentary and I'm here available to help you. So today I want to introduce to you two ladies that are super inspiring to me. I've known them a super long time individually and now they've joined forces. So I met Jen Del Judas many, many years ago when I first moved to Hinsdale. We were playing bunko together, one of those things that you do, right? And um, Jen opened up a wellness spa in our town and she was so kind to allow me to host my talks all through 2016 and part of 2017 at her wellness spa. Stephanie is a woman who is another entrepreneur who had was the first owner of the first daily method here in our Chicagoland area. These two women have joined forces. I'm not gonna say anymore. I'm gonna introduce them and let them share their inspiring story. So Steph and Jen, thank you for joining me today. <laughs> well, thank you, Patty, for having us. Jen and I are thrilled for this opportunity. Um, so yeah, Jen and I, we have a shared passion for wellness and yeah fight against toxins, which are in products we use, the air we breathe, the food we eat, and it's just abundant. It's really quite shocking when you really start to drill down. Um, my background, um, I've yes. always been in here, Stephanie, please share where you were and how, it, how you got to where you're at right now. So I was owning three daily methods, and I decided to continue in that wellness path but with Jen. So I moved away from the daily methods and continued on with Jen. Um, and here we are today. I've known Jen for quite a while. She was a student of mine at the daily method in LaGrange. And when I was on a crusade to find a good safe deodorant for one of my daily methods, I came across Jen's product. Yes. Right here. You guys, excuse me. I have to just interrupt. This is the best organic deodorant on the market. I am not kidding you. It is phenomenal. Okay, continue. <laughs> when I found this deodorant and I had added cycle to my studio, my cycle students were really demanding a good safe product and I was coming up short until I came across the Lux deodorant and that saved the day and Jen and I had a little mini reunion. Our mm -hmm. conversations continued about what we think and what we believe in and we decided to partner and it's been it's been a lot of fun, a lot of good, you know, hard work. But here we are today with our new space and our, awesome. um, our business. Yeah, that's awesome. Jen, can you share a little bit about your background? Because I didn't do it justice because you have a, an amazing background. Thank you, Patty. Um, well, I am a registered nurse. Um, I'm also an esthetician. Um, I did some health coaching myself. And I'm also into aromatherapy. So I got certified in aromatherapy. And as Patty mentioned, I owned Lux Organics in Hinsdale. And um, I really believed in these, all of these toxins that they're really causing um, everyone to get so sick. So I started making uh, my own products with our organic essential oils. And having the nursing background, I wanted to do more medicinal blends, you know, to help with pain and stress. And and then it just took off. And I think everybody, you know, wants to be on healthy products. I think a lot of people today understand that, as Steph said, that, you know, the, the food we eat and the air that we're breathing are not good for us. But people are understanding a little bit more about even the chemicals that are in these products that are making us so sick. 
And Steph and I have a mission to educate people all about it. I so know. I love your tagline. You guys, their tagline is honor, um, no junk, and no doubt, right? So you don't have to doubt these products. It's like, it's absolutely right. That's right. So share a little bit because you've now moved from Hinsdale to LaGrange and you've opened up an entirely new space. And not only do you have products, but you're going to have a lot of things in this space. So please share your look. Your, your your bricks and mortar. So in addition to the products, our, we have 100 plus products. We have a body care line, a face care line. Um, we have a pet line, a baby line, a household line. Um, in addition to the products, we have services. Do you want to talk more yeah. about that? So to complement the products that we have, we're actually implementing them with services. So we have um, Four different areas. We have mind care, which is our meditation classes, which will include aromatherapy, well, two different kinds of meditation and mindful mm -hmm. movement, which is a little bit of stretch. Um, we have face care, which is um, a facial basically, but it's a detox and it's using products that we endorse. We have coach care, which is health coaching and those sort of one on one appointments, which lends itself to tons of amazing workshops that we're going to host here at Lux, Lux Honor. And, um, and then we have our body care, which is an appointment where you have 45 minutes of possibly massage therapy or Reiki. Nice. So all the services, they blend together and they are using our products. So it's kind of perfect. People get to learn how to use our products in our space and do that at home and when they're traveling. It's awesome. It's a one-stop shop. It really is fabulous. Yeah. Yes. So, ladies, you know, you both shared your journey, how you got from where you were to where you are now, but every entrepreneur has a big why. And you may have already said it, but I want you to really, like, tell me, what is your big why for, for pushing through and keep, you know, you've had a lot of challenges getting to your new space and all that goes on with building out, not everything. What is your why? Why are you in this? Can I go first? Sure. <laughs> so my big why is next generation is mm -hmm. that I want to educate my kids and the entire so generation. They don't know what they don't know. So it's our opportunity to really teach them. Um, but I was mostly inspired by the challenges of my parents. My dad got very sick with Alzheimer's mm -hmm. and that is, you know, related to toxins and metals. And um, it's, it's shocking how much of that is in our products our everyday use of products. So, I want to get away from you know having that in my lifetime and of course for my children so that was my big why well i agree with everything that steph said and in addition to the alzheimer's you know it's um, believed that a lot of products with chemical um, are carcinogenic um you know that are causing all these diseases hmm. and people just don't realize it because the fda doesn't regulate it as well here as they do in europe Mm -hmm. And, you know, Steph and I thought, you know, we could just do a product company, but we really wanted more of that hands-on with people. Education. And, you know, we're all yeah. stressed out and we're going to have wonderful services so that people walk in our doors and learn something and hopefully decrease their stress level. Well, so I'll tell you, uh, audience, if you were at the Lux Organics in Hinsdale, just walking in there, you felt decompressed. It was such a... A, 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 just a great feeling to just like the space lent itself to that. So I can only imagine what you created there at your new yeah, location. Even it's more. better. Yeah, it's better. Well, um, okay, so tell me, what have been um, your biggest challenges as an entrepreneur? You know, it's not always smooth sailing, as we know, right? It's up and down. What has been your biggest challenge? Okay. Yeah. Um, so I think the biggest challenge for, for both of us um, is just balance because mm -hmm. Steph and I have always said, you know, our family comes first mm -hmm. and, you know, sometimes it's challenging, but we always remind each other, you know, family comes first. And so we're just trying to still figure out the balance, but we also know that we want to make a difference in people's lives. So we want to get out there and, and be with the public and educate so for me and stuff, I think it's just the balance. And for me, it's it's just been um, the overwhelming response from the public as far as they want to get in here and start, you know, subscribing to this and learning. 
and people wanting to join our team. There's so many wonderful, amazing people that want to join the team. And so it's sort of sifting through all of that, managing expectations, and we really want to make sure what we say we deliver. So we've been cautious in our timing. We've been really thorough in what we're doing. And, and then the result is that we're going to have a well-buttoned-up business and have a team that's um, quite impressive. Yeah. So you both have had experience in the land of entrepreneurship. Let me ask you, from your past, when times get cuckoo, crazy, you both are moms, you both have kids, um, you have a lot going on. What do you, how do you manage your mindset when you're going through those challenges? Like, what are the things you're telling yourself? What are you thinking and believing <laughs> in that moment, right? <laughs> Well, <laughs> in general, it's that it's so worthwhile. I mean, we just can't avoid this nagging passion we both have to make a difference. But when things get a little cuckoo, Jen and I just start to laugh and we start to joke. And we have a couple signals that just make us laugh. Yeah. And so when things are getting a little crazy, we move to that. That's right. awesome. Please. That's just me. Yeah. <laughs> and it all resolves one way or another. It always resolves itself. Right. Well, that's the underlying thought that you probably have. Everything resolves. So. Yes. Yeah. So Steph's yeah. not going to do it, but she goes like this. Yeah, I do this. <laughs> <laughs> and then we just start laughing. <laughs> so tell me, um, what would you tell another woman who is thinking about becoming her own boss, becoming an entrepreneur? What would you say to her? I think anyone who um, wants to challenge themselves must, number one, follow their passion. And, you know, not get into something, you know, to be profitable. I mean, we all want to be profitable, but number one should be follow your passion and make a difference. Mm -hmm. um, that's what we always say. We're doing this to make a difference in one's lives. And I would say, you know, I would echo what Jen says, but I also believe that it's 90% effort. 10% experience, background, education. I have an MBA from Kellogg, and that has helped me, but I feel that there has been so many people in my life that don't have those like educational credentials that have made significant differences in people's lives and made these huge, amazing companies. Without that, and I think it's just keep pushing on that gas pedal. Just keep pushing on it, and your effort will, will you know, reward you. And have faith. I think faith is so important. Yeah. You know, we we all have rough days, but there is a light at the end of the tunnel. So just have faith. Yeah. Well, you guys have a big why, a big why, and so that is such a great thing to lean into on those days when you do get challenged to remember your why, your message, what it is, how important it is for you to get this message out and educate people. Um, so, okay. What I ask this to everybody, so I'm going to ask it to you two separately. What is the best mistake you've ever made? Good question. So we um, we almost signed a lease twice. Oh and wow! Over a year ago, we were looking at two two good spaces, um, and we almost signed those leases, but we just weren't feeling good about it. So we re, you know um, reestablished what we wanted to do. And we decided not to go into those other spaces and focus on our product company. And it just took off. And then we had a lot of success with our deodorant that's non-toxic. And we are now taking that national. Um, we are having that manufactured. Um, we have it on Amazon. Um, and we're also looking um, at two other products that we're going to be manufacturing in bulk. Um, so we're working with um, Lab Tech right now. Um, so we hope to have those very soon. Um, so it's just been, it's been incredible. That's exciting. I'm telling you, I, I swear by this thing. But I want to tell you also, this product is amazing too. This product that they came out with is a air freshener for your bathroom. And it's made with oh. essential oils. So instead of spraying like Airwick air freshener, you know, with all the toxins in that, or Lysol. Yeah. <laughs> This yeah. is an amazing product and it works. It works. So it's really good for sneakers too. It's good for, it's good for sneakers and stinky Ooh. teenagers <laughs> and car loads when you're carpooling that got out of volleyball or baseball shoes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Great. Awesome. Yes. I have sprayed it in Anthony's shoes, actually. <laughs> 
So uh, girls, tell the audience where people can find you both online and offline. And if you have anything coming up, any upcoming events, um, let the audience know. And, and there are people that are watching that are not local that I know um, have chimed into some of the posts I've put up asking about the deodorant and have ordered. So please share, you know, okay. where people can find you. So our physical location, our brick and mortar is in LaGrange. It's on, um, it's 311 West Hill Grove. So it's right conveniently downtown LaGrange. Um, and here's just a picture of our space. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but it is a loading dock. We went with a really authentic, interesting space that was very airy. We have um, an online presence with our website, and we have all of our products on there. And is that luxhonor.com? Luxhonor.com, correct. So it's L-U-X-X-E, and then honor, H-O-N-O-R.com. Mm -hmm. We also have a presence on Amazon with our deodorant. We're going to be rolling out, um, you know, more products in bulk, and so we'll have those available on Amazon soon too. Um, and Jen and I are very excited about our location here. It's our flagship location mm -hmm. with phase two plans of um, franchising. So that is something we've also had an overwhelming response. People are interested in franchising, mm -hmm. but we, again, cautious steps, we wanna get this right and get them set up so that is a, a template for success so that they have less trial and error that we've got it figured out for them. That is awesome, wow. Yeah. Big news, big news. And next week we have a three-day shopping event, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, just for last-minute gifts and gift certificates with the free deodorant. Any gift certificate over $75. So that's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday next week. Um, and our grand opening will be in January. And we're going to have a calendar of workshops that is going to be um, abundant and we'll have quite a roster of professionals providing education on, you know, giving you the understanding so you don't know what you don't know now you can learn at Lux Honor. Awesome. I love that you don't know what you don't know that's great. Okay ladies thank you so much for taking time out of your day I appreciate it it was great to hear your stories and how you've come together and to you and our audience thank you so much for taking time out of your your afternoon to listen to this broadcast if you're watching it in replay give me some hearts you know thumbs up leave us a comment we love to hear it until next week, make it an amazing weekend. Thank you, girls. We'll see Bye. you. Happy holidays, Happy everybody. Holidays. Thank you.